This was a mistake I made, so I'm comfortable to talk about it. When I bought my first real telescope, a 12-inch Dobsonian, I couldn't be happier. Watching the sky, the star clusters, the beautiful Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, our neighbor, the planets of course, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and a few more bright objects in the sky. Then I bought an equatorial platform to keep the objects in the field of view and all the family could watch them without having to recenter the telescope. However, after a while the frustration arrived when we wanted to watch more objects, fainter ones, and the only thing we could watch were faint fuzzies. So we decided to buy a dedicated camera. Previously we tried with a smartphone but we didn't like the results. And searching for cameras online, they seemed attractive but not the price. They were a bit expensive and as we didn't know what to expect, we bought an inexpensive one, the ZWO 224MC Color, because we like to watch colors in the objects. It was a good start, but should I have saved the money to buy a more expensive camera? Well, the problem with the small sensors is essentially the cumbersome of finding deep sky objects and also we are limited to the smaller objects in the sky. As an example, this is the Antares star, captured with a ZWO-224 camera, which has a tiny sensor. By the opposite, using the ZWO-294 that I ended up buying, and that has a larger sensor, the field of view, of course, as we can see, is noticeably wider. Nonetheless, even that you don't have tracking, you can capture planets without it, as I did here capturing Venus with a ZWO-224, letting the planet run in the field of view. But again, having a wider field of view will allow you to capture much more frames, therefore having a better result. And if I could go back in time, I would rather save the money to buy the ZWO-294 straight away. And this is what I recommend to any beginner to do. Unless you can't get the money, especially if you have a Dobsonian telescope, go for the 294 MC Color. Now click on this video to know more about this camera and what you can do with it and your Dobsonian telescope.